Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rosa. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, Isabel. I didn't get who was. If it was Fernando, uh, he's a listener. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Okay, so, uh -huh. welcome everybody. This is your class number 10. Okay, this is your class number, no, number 11, right? Number 11. Okay, we are going to start today with the new unit. Unit, unit three, okay? Unit three. Today we want to um, learn how to talk about future events or future plans, activities that you have to do next week, for example, okay? Activities you have in your plans to do next week. All right, this is what we are going to learn how to express these events, okay? But first of all, guys, what date is today? What date is today? Today is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. August 23rd, 2023. Very good, very good. Uh -huh. A ver, solo Rosa me lo ha dicho. A ver, what's the day today? Recordémoslo todos. Esto es sumamente importante. Cómo decir la fecha en que estamos, ¿verdad? La fecha del día en que estamos. What day is today? What's the day today? Today is uh, Wednesday. Uh -huh. uh, to uh, 23 of 2023. Okay, just remember August. I'm August. sorry, August. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. But what day is today? What day is today? Today is? Today is? Oh, I'm sorry, today is? Uh-huh. Okay, today is? Uh, Wednesday, mm -hmm. okay, uh, August, okay, okay, uh, the uh, 23rd, exactly, okay, uh, the 2023, of, of, mm -hmm. of, of, of 2023. 2023. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you, Ronaldo. Thank you. Okay. Let's listen. Everybody, I need you to know how to say the date, guys. Uh, so, but I can't see you all. So let's try to start by doing something else. All right. We are going to try to do another activity. This is an activity we want to ask and answer questions. Okay. These are direct questions. It means the answer is yes, I do, or no, I don't, depending, depending on, mm -hmm, depending on the, um, and on the activity, if you do it or you don't do it, if it is an obligation or if it is not an obligation, if you need to do it or if you don't need to do it, it depends on your own experience, okay? So, I will ask first. Este es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Ustedes van a hacer las preguntas, van a escoger a su compañero, ¿verdad? Y le van a hacer la pregunta, ¿sí? Ahorita estamos en esta de acá, ¿ve? ¿eh? Y van a responder si es yes, I do, or no, I don't. For example, Isabel, do you have to call customers? Do you have to call customers? Very good. No, I don't. Aha, uh -huh. nice. 
Okay. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I have two. Atender a los clientes, ¿verdad? I have to assist customers. All right? Is it okay, Isabel? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Le voy a preguntar nuevamente. Do you have to call customers? No, I don't. I have to assist from customers. To assist customers. Yes, very good. Ahora Isabel, usted escoge a un compañero, choose a classmate, y le hace la siguiente pregunta, ¿ok? This other question. Miss Gabriela? No, I don't. Very good, very good. Now, Gabriela, choose a classmate and ask this other question. La uh, siguiente. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Juan Carlos Gavidi. Do you have to send the emails? Mr. Juan Carlos? No, no, I don't have email. Send, send emails. And send email. Okay, very good, Juan Carlos. Now you choose another classmate and ask this question, okay? Escoja okay, otro compañero. Ajá. ¿A quién le va a hacer la pregunta? Who are you asking the question? A Verónica Beatriz. Miss Verónica, are you there? She's just a listener right now. Maybe she's on her way home. You have to choose another person. Other person, okay? Escoja otro, Juan Carlos. Fernando Noel. Mr. Fernando, are you there? Yes, yes teacher. Is. Okay, then go ahead, Juan Carlos. Este, do they have to write the report? Yes. No, no, uh, hasta ahí, hasta la pregunta, nada más. En la, en la blue, eh? va. Sí, exacto. Este, do they have to write the report? Yes, they do. Okay. Entonces la pregunta es, do they have, ¿verdad? Do they have to write the report? Okay, le podemos preguntar también directamente a, eh, a Fernando, ¿verdad? Do you have to write the report? Y la pregunta sería, yes? I do. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. Eso es lo que vamos a ir a hacer. Ahora, veamos que también podemos preguntar por una tercera persona. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere preguntar que si la secretaria imprime los documentos, ¿verdad? Does Helen have to print documents? ¿Ok? Y usted va a responder. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? She does, yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Ok. Vamos a ir a hacer estas preguntas y a dar estas respuestas, ¿ok? Vamos a dar, hacer la pregunta y a dar la respuesta. ¿De acuerdo a nuestra experiencia o pueden también expandir su vocabulario, ¿ok? Bien, voy a pasar lista y nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms para hacer esa actividad. Este es un speaking. Questions and answers, ¿ok? Tell me. Me 
en mi pantalla no se escucha esas letras. Eh, sí, estoy grabando. Siempre se graba la... la, la... Sí, pero ajá, eso, eso sale solo cuando me meto, o sea, solo cuando se empieza y luego se quitan. A mí no se me han quitado las letras. Ah, entonces póngale ahí ok. No, me, no tiene opción. Más abajito, tal vez si lo mueve. No. Igual si muevo la pantalla siempre me aparece eso. Teacher, normally is the block, the message, the, the print is, for example, the solution is in leave and log in the new in the classroom. Oh, okay. So she has to go to log out and then yeah, log in. Teacher. Okay. Entonces, para que se le desaparezca y pueda ver la pantalla, porque le está cubriendo la pantalla, me imagino. Ajá. Entonces, para que lo pueda ver, tiene que salir si volver a entrar. Es lo que le dice Saúl. Log out and then log in. Porque se ha quedado ahí congelado, seguramente. Sí, a mí me ha pasado y esa es la solución. This is the solution. Oh, okay, Isabel. Thank you for let us, letting us know. Okay, ahorita les voy a pasar las estas para que ustedes comiencen ya a trabajar en eso mientras yo tomo la asistencia. Okay, I will call the attendance and I will require that you to say present. And remember that requirement is also to turn the camera on. Please, everybody. Uh, be responsible with that, please. <laughs> Let me just send this. Everybody ready? Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Mr. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Okay, then. Okay. Teacher. Okay, Débora. Okay, no problem. Sí. En el caso de Carlos Galán, creo que lo mencionó, pero como él trabaja en la misma empresa que yo, creo que él tiene monitoreo ahorita y no sé si oh, tiene llamada. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, Dan, no problem. Thank you very much, Ronaldo. Thank you, Deborah, for informing. And Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Oh, Present he's a listener. I remember, Pre I'm sorry. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Gabri uh, Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Ok, Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Miss Helen, are you in? Ok. José Adonai Mendoza Aguillón. José Adonai. Oh my goodness. José Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos, a ver, veamos si está como oyente hoy. Ok, yes, there you are, José Antonio, it's ok. Juan Carlos Gavidi Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Oh, he's still, oh, there you are. Ok. Um, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. All right. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Good. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Okay. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Great. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. This is a listener right now. All right. Then, guys, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. I will uh, do these um, groups, maybe large, okay? I will place uh, more than two in each group. So please, everybody, what I need is that you to speak, asking the question and answering the question, everybody, like a conversation, right? Like a conversation, so please, there we go. The structure we are, we are learning is have to and need to. Has to and needs to, all right? And this is in questions. There we go. Vamos a hacer preguntas de eso que hacer... con nuestras respuestas y luego practicarla. Lo que está en rojo. De las letras que están en rojo, hay que hacer oraciones o preguntas. Letras que están en rojo. Ah, pero... Sí, no. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Those are the activities you have to do the, the questions. Solo de esas, teacher. De las exactly. Mm -hmm. en... The red Qué ones. Bien. Es muy tarde, me conecto. Entonces... Solo eso vamos a armar las preguntas y le vamos a poner la respuesta positiva y negativa. The answer will be according to your experience. Okay. Okay, if you don't print documents, then you're going to say, no, I don't, right? Mm -hmm. Pero con respecto a... Hola, teacher. Eh, una consulta. Eh, en realidad, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yo como ahorita estoy aquí, les decía a mis compañeros a dos manos, no he prestado mucha atención. Solo sé de que hay que hacer oraciones, pero manteniendo la estructura de que usted nos compartió, yes, no, eh, question, y sobre nuestro trabajo. Eso es. Exactly. The, the, uh, what you have to do is to speak and talk to your classmates, asking questions with the activities in red. Okay. Las actividades que están en rojo en el slide que estábamos viendo. Usted tiene que make the question, 
And according to your experience, you will give an answer, all right? Short answers. For example, Gabriela, do you print, do you have to print documents? No, I don't. Okay, this is what you are going to do, but like a conversation, all right? Like a conversation. Is it okay, Ronaldo? Hmm. Okay. Ronaldo? All right. Okay. Good. No fácil. Entonces sería de solo responder este. Las cinco que están ahí, las cinco que están ahí. La de print document, file report, go to the doc. No, yo creo que es con respecto a, a lo que hace cada quien. No específicamente eso. Eh, read read the, the chat, please. Oh. Ahorita. Question on um, where you seem to do it is a real. Print documents for report. Go promotional emails mm -hmm. ¿Ah? eh, dice uh, no, she doesn't sí. no. she sí. hello <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> tell me vaya mi amor verdad que tenemos que hacer preguntas con las letras con las letras rojitas que están en la ok yes ocupando how to y hey. o need to exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for example I ask you Stephanie Stephanie do you print documents uh, I don't no, I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. Okay? okay? Pero como una conversación, like a conversation, right? Fernando Noel says, yes, I I print documents, okay? And you continue the next activity. All right? Go mm -hmm. ahead. Teacher, um, eh, tenemos que usar las palabras... Eh, to have y to need, have to y need to. Exactly. Uh -huh. Igual que como en las cinco uh, que están arribita ahí en la, en la captura que nos envió. Exactly. Like, uh, if I ask you, for example, Fernando. Fernando, do you have to print documents? Do you need to print documents in your job? Pero el, el, el elegir entre cuál de las dos vamos a usar. Es a nuestro criterio. Ahí yes, no this is a conversation. Correcto. It's a free conversation. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, use your vocabulary. Be creative. Ay, okay, teacher. Vaya, este, Stephanie. Eh, Vale, si quiere escribimos las, las, no sé si quiere volver a practicar la pronuncia. Está la ticha. Ok. Hello, yes, here I am. Teacher, se salió la compañera, no sé si usted la sacó. Mm -mm. Alma. No, no la saqué yo. Okay, there, there she is. Se acaba de conectar. She reconnected. Maybe it's raining in her place. Okay. Uh, una consulta, teacher. Eh, solo va a ser la simple respuesta. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
sí, sí, sin, sin especificar, no, yo no hago eso, hago lo otro, no, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Usted use el mayor vocabulario que pueda. Esta es una free conversation. ¿Ok? Ok. There she is. Se me cerró la... Se me cerró su... Pues sí. Es... Eh, lo podemos hacer de la forma. Dice la... Yes, for example, I ask you, Alma. Eh, Alma, do you have to print documents in your job? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Do you need to print documents? Uh, Sometimes. Okay. Very good. So this is the way you are going to do. All right. Just as a conversation. Yo voy a poner como las respuestas de Alba y a las mías. O sea, no van a ser mis respuestas, sino que las de mi compañero, las que yo voy a poner, ¿verdad? Eh, pues no, ahorita usted está conversando nada más, pero solo eso, conversando. Uh -huh. No van a presentar que... nada escrito. Ok. Ajá, hoy no va a presentar, este es solo conversation. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Gracias, All right, continue. Uh -huh. Lo que quiero oír yo es que están platicando acá. ¿Ok? Eso necesitamos oír. Pregunta y respuesta. Pregunta y respuesta. ¿Ok? There you go. Yes. Do you have call customer? Ah, cualquiera puede contestar y de ahí otro puede hacer la pregunta. Sí, Eva. Yes. Yeah. Do you have to be the customer? No, I don't. Con las, con las actividades que están en rojo ahí, Juan Carlos. Uh, como que digan, no, I don't. Y pongo, go to doctor. O... No, no, las actividades que están abajo en el slide, hay una listita como de cinco actividades que usted va a usar para hacer las preguntas. Ah, entonces sería, pongamos, do you have... To write documents. Correct. Yes. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, do you have file? No. Report. No. No, I don't. I have to assist in customers. Uh, yeah, do you have to go to the doctor? I don't think. I don't. Do you have living work uh, work early? Do you have to take some some day off? Es lo que dice la teacher. Uh -huh. Como repetir solo para que vamos a ver lo que es el dialecto. The number four, yes, I do. I never do it. I never do it. Teacher, I have a question. Hello, yes, here I am. Marta uh, asked me, for example, I, she, she say, nunca lo hago. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that is, uh, I never do it. It's correct. correct. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Entonces la podemos utilizar, es lo que preguntaba Marta, perdón. Que había... Oh, yes, of course, of course. Yes. Por ejemplo, ella dice las negativas, que en vez de decir no I done, es como, no sé, ¿verdad? No I don't, I never do it. Eh, no don't never, just I never. Okay. I never. I never do it. Uh -huh. never. En vez de decir no I don't, vamos a decir no, I never do it. All right. Uh -huh. 
Good. Teacher, porque pensé que era, no, I don't never. <laughs> ah, no, no, porque entonces sería un doble negativo. Y don't never ah. sería entonces que estoy negando el nunca. Entonces, no nunca sería siempre. <laughs> Sí, me, okay. me encanta, ¿eh? porque dos negativos hacen un positivo. ¿ya? Sí, por eso me decía Saúl que porque dos veces era negativo. Ajá, entonces no se puede. I never do it or I don't do it. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good. Continue. I want... Ok, teacher. Eh... Saúl, ahora sería la respuesta, las preguntas al revés. Empiezas conmigo. Y después con Rosa. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, let's do it. Eh, Marta, do you have to call customers? Yes, I do. Rosa, do you have to visit customers? No, I don't. I visit the vendors. Ok. Marta, do you have to send the emails? Yes, I do. Rosa, do you have to write the reports? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Marta, do you have to print documents? Yes, I do. Rosa, do you have to file report? What is the file? File. File reports. Two things. Register or fill in. Ah, uh, no, I don't. No, okay. Okay, uh, Marta, do you have to go to the doctor? No, I don't. Okay, Rosa, do you have to leave work early? Yes, I do, sometimes. Okay, uh, Marta, do you have to take some days off? No, I never, así es verdad. No, I never eat. Do it. Do it. Okay. No, I never do it. Okay. Does, does, for example, does she, oh, sorry, tenía por acá notado. Yes, she does. Do you need to take some day off? Ah, <laughs> Marta, Marta Alicia. Sorry, a question? The teacher write the chat. Okay. <laughs> For your answer. Okay, yes. um, Rosa and Marta, you ask me the one question and I answer. Okay. Um, do you leave work? No. Do you have to leave work early? Yes, I do. Um, every day. Marta, you ask me, please. Do you have to print documents? No, I don't. Saul. Teacher, I have a question. I'm sorry, don't remember that. Then Baker don't, don't send to you. What is the different, for example, in my answer, the different question is on the, se me olvidó, tercera persona? Third person. Third person. What is, for example, no, for example, uh, my ask, does 
does teacher Carmen have to file report? Mm -hmm. I say, I, I think, do you know the, the file report, for example? Mm -hmm. He says, no, she doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. She, for example, she sent report but email. Como unirlas, por ejemplo, decir que una negación, pero poner otra oración. I don't remember that you say me. Oh. Como, como hago la. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is the structure? The structure. All right. Uh, give me the, the question you said. Uh, does the teacher Carmen have to file report? A report? Yeah, okay. A report. Mm -hmm. Does teacher Carmen have to file a report? Mm -hmm. And the answer is negative, right? It's negative, yes. Okay. So you say, no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, uh, this is period, right? And then you say, she has... She has to send an email. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what you wanted to say? Yes, teacher. Okay. So if this is negative, then you give an explanation. You give uh more light. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is for not being so uh like cutting right with a cutting knife. No, because okay. if you say no, she doesn't. So what does she do? Right with a mm -hmm. And then you provide with some explanation, right? Extra okay. information. Mm -hmm. okay. So you do what she does. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, nice. Thanks. <laughs> okay, people. Let's listen to Saul, Rosa, and um, and Marta Alicia. They were talking. Okay, using the activities uh, in the slide, and I want everybody to see their way to do it. It was a very good strategy, okay? This is conversational, all right? So please, you may start, Rosa. And then Saul and so on, right? The way you were doing it. Okay. Um, le pregunto a, a alguien de mi, de mi grupo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. You Saul, ask me. Mm -hmm. Saul. Does Helen, does Helen have to send the report? Yes, she does. Okay, it's my turn Ask to Marta. Marta, do you have to visit customers? Marta? Marta, you are muted. I think she's, she's speaking, but she doesn't see that her microphone is off. Marta, Alicia. Okay, no worries. Do it, okay. your, uh -huh, Rosa, you both. Rosa, do, do you have to go up to the doctor? Yes, I do, sometime. Okay. You ask me. Rosa? Okay. Uh, Saul, do you have to visit customers? No, I don't. I have to... Uh, Repeat, please. Do you have the to visit. be customer? No, I don't. I send, I have to send emails. Rosa, do they have to write a report? No, I don't. It they. Is they. They. They don't. Your company, mm. they. Ah, okay. No, they don't. The ask is, do they have okay. to write a report. There she is, Marta Alicia. So I only 
Tito. Tito le va a dar. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ok, Rosa, ask Marta Alicia. Marta Alicia. Do you have to write a report? Yes, I do. Okay, Marta Alicia. Do you have to take some days off? Uh, no, I don't. More but I need, okay. but I need to take some days off, right? <laughs> okay, there you are. Thank you very much, guys. Now, we want to listen to Fernando Noel, okay? Fernando Noel, Deborah, Carlos Ernesto, and Stephanie. Well, actually, only Fernando and Stephanie, right? Okay, go ahead. Stephanie, you are muted. Fernando, do you have to call customers? You are muted, Fernando. Yes, you can. Uh, no, I don't. Um, De hora no está disponible, ¿verdad? No, no, only you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, funny. Uh, do you need to go to the doctor? Uh, yes, I do sometimes. <coughs> do you... Fernando, do you need to go to the doctor? <laughs> Yes, because you're <laughs> coughing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, continue, continue. Yes, I do. Take me, right? <laughs> Call the ambulance. <laughs> continue, continue, okay. guys. Do you, Fernando, do you need to take some guy off? Uh, yes, I do. Stephanie. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You did a very good job. Yes. Remember, the structure, do at the beginning. Then you have to write or to say the subject. Then have to or need to. And then the action, right? The action, the verb in the base form. And then the complement. And remember, if you write it with a question mark, if you were just saying, falling intonation because i'm sorry raising intonation because you are asking uh, direct questions okay there you are thank you very much now we are going to continue people we are going to continue we have a lot to do today because we want to practice we want to practice how to talk about future events okay future future events mm -hmm. so we're learning we are learning a new topic. This is a new tense. We have never used it. Okay. No lo hemos utilizado. Es primera vez que lo vamos a utilizar. Probablemente ya lo conocen algunos que hayan estudiado este tema. Pero el tema o la estructura que vamos a utilizar para hablar de eventos futuros, como según dice el nombre de la unidad 3, all right? porque ahí vamos a comenzar el día de hoy. Okay, our unit number three, scheduled events at the workplace. Scheduled events at the workplace, all right? ¿Cómo se llama nuestra nueva unidad? Scheduled events at the workplace. Yes. Everybody, please. Scheduled events at the workplace. Exactly. Cuando hay una S al principio, en inglés no decimos S, decimos S, schedule, ¿ok? Schedule. Por ejemplo, decimos escuela en inglés, school, ¿ok? School. Decimos estudiante, student, student. No decimos S. Y menos decir school, ¿verdad? O schedule, como los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Que así decimos. Entonces, tenemos que pronunciar scheduled. Thank you very much, guys. Now, the present continuous 
is the structure we are learning. This is your class number 11, okay? So we want to learn some structures to talk about future events, scheduled events, okay? They are programmed in your agenda or maybe in the programming or the planning of your company, okay? That's in order to achieve objectives, right? That's in order to achieve objectives. So um, we are, okay, we had this practice. Do you have to, do you need to? All right, and now we go to the present continuous. We want to talk about the future events later. And the session one is for the person number 11 in our uh, list. Okay, the class objective is that participants will be able to talk about activities using the present continuous scheduled events using present continuous. Ajá, ¿quién me lo quiere leer? Más o menos se ve por el color y en esta pantalla no lo miro muy bien. A ver, espero sure. que esté... Ok, please, go ahead. Participants will be able to take about activities using present continuous. Ok, to talk, to talk. To talk, to mm -hmm. talk. So the idea here is to speak, ok, to speak. All right, then let's speak, yes? Let's speak and let's see this conversation. And it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess, that, guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Here we go. Is there any question? Take 30 seconds, read the conversation. And then if you have questions, tell me. Committee. Uh -huh. and... committee, committee, mm -hmm. the committee. Teacher, how do you say pronounce Gus? Gus what? Gus. Ah, guess what? Guess what? Guess. Mm -hmm. guess. 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 Como la marca ¿verdad? de ropa y de cosas. Guess. Guess. Guess, mm -hmm. guess what? Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. Is there any other question? In this moment, no teacher. No? Okay, then. Let's listen to Stephanie and, let's see, and Ronaldo, please read the conversation. Peter will be Stephanie and Ronaldo will be Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question, who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Mr. Ronaldo, are you busy now? Okay then, please, Gabriela. Okay, I think so. Thank you very much for informing. Uh -huh. Hey, Peter. Will Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year to talk. Ah, uh, sería this year too. Uh, so... This year to talk. I see, but if Julie, Julie is the attend, attending who is the delivery, the pre presentation for the CAO next week? Mm -hmm. 
guess what? I am I am present presenting with, presenting with Hector the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the commuter about it. Committee. Committee. About it. All right. Thank you. A ver, Samuel and Deborah, please. Samuel, Peter, Deborah, Henry. Hello, Deborah. Uh, oh, con los nombres. Ah, yo decía que solo leerlo para que no confundamos ahorita, ¿sí? Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is represent, representing? Representing? Just, representing? The company in the yearly conference. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for CEO? Next week. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess. Guess what? I am. I am present. Why? Presenting. 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 Why? The new account. So red. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, digámoslo juntos, Samuel. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing. So I am informing the committee about it. The committee. Uh, about it, about it. Mm -hmm. about it, yes. Okay, sounds great. Means se oye chévere, eh? Que chivo, okay? Something like that. All right, sounds great. Mm -hmm. Informing the committee, the committee, the committee, our committee. <laughs> Okay, now, Helen, please. You are Peter and Marta Alicia, please. You are Henry. Miss Helen, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, you Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the journey conference? Yo era Peter o No, no, yes, you are Peter. And Marta Alicia is trying to, because I see that her microphone is on. Marta Alicia? Okay. Hello, Henry. Uh, you are Henry. You are Henry, Marta oh. Okay. Continue, continue, uh, Marta Alicia. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So? I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting why Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informing the committee about it. A ver, digámoslo junto, Helen, juntas, Helen. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. I am informing the committee about it. About it. Great. That's good. Thank you very much. You did a good job, girls. All right. So if you, ah, this is very important. So, yeah, 
It depends on the intonation you give to this word to acquire the meaning, okay? That provides any meaning. For example, if I say this year too, so, so, right? So, <laughs> yeah, like uh, provoking something, right? But if I say, for example, this year too, so, right? The intonation gives meaning, guys. So we need to use the right intonation. We need to use the right intonation, okay? Because we don't want to confront, all right? So the idea here is like, hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So it means that he doesn't know, right? Maybe Maria, maybe Julie, right? Or both. So, ¿qué podría seguir después de so? So, I'm not sure. So, both. So, okay. So, you give the right intonation to provide information. Okay. Let's look at the words in bold. Okay. Let's look at the words in bold. Is attending the conference. Okay. Look, what verb is this? What verb is this? This the one. To... The verb? The verb to be. Exactly. It's the verb be. Mm -hmm. And we have another verb here. Yes, we have another verb. What is the verb? Attend. But it ends in an ing ending. Look, attending, right? Attending the conference. Okay, let's look at this one. Is attending. Is attending. Okay, let's look at this one. I'm presenting. I'm presenting. I'm informing. I'm informing. Mm -hmm. So it means that for future events, Okay. For future events, we use the present continuous, okay? The present continuous. So we have, for example, how to form the present continuous. I don't know if I am having the repetition. All right, then, to form the present continuous, we use the pronoun, yeah? Let's go over here and let's see. Ah, uh -huh. okay, subject, Julie. Ah, Julie is she. All right, let's go and see. Pronoun, she, okay, I, you, he, she, it, we, they. A subject. Then, the verb to be. This verb, Act the same as the verb be here, okay? For example, I am. Um, and then I use the ing verb form. For example, I am teaching tomorrow, okay? I am teaching next Saturday. Okay, Ronaldo, it's okay. I'm teaching in two days, okay? You are learning, you are learning, okay? It could be now, it could be later, it could be in the certain future, okay? For future event two, he is reading, okay? He is reading, she is writing, it is raining, Right now it is raining, okay? We are paying attention, right? Everybody here is paying attention. So we are paying attention. They are sleeping, okay? Sleeping, okay? Are you sleeping? No, teacher, no. No, right? No sleeping. Okay, then. This are a, let's say, 
sentences, short sentences, okay? But the usage here, I don't know if you are able to see these, okay? We use Dice, mira lo que estoy escribiendo acá. Yes, teacher, I said. Yes, okay, this is the first point. Okay, this is the first one. And the next one, I'm sorry. or the main usage, okay, the most common usage is to tell activities at the same I'm speaking, okay? Entonces, vemos que tenemos dos usos para el presente continuo. Vemos que ahorita en la actividad que teníamos anterior, que era la conversación, estábamos hablando de eventos futuros para una conferencia que se va a realizar. Acá podríamos entender cualquiera de los dos usos. Puede ser que yo diga actividades que están pasando en el mismo momento que yo estoy hablando o actividades para evento futuro, ¿ok? En este caso vamos a ver. Por ejemplo, voy a borrar esto, ¿ya lo agarraron? Sí. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. I remember that, for example, I talking about the, the future activities use the, the will be in this... I don't use or, or it's more? <laughs> no, actually there are four or five, <laughs> but four <laughs> principal ways to talk about the future. And it depends the kind of future you are talking about. So in this case, we are talking about certain future scheduled events, plans. Then is when you use the, the present continuous, okay? Uh, okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. There you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's look at the flashcards or the pictures we have in this slide, okay? Yo pregunto, my question is, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's a coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is. He is a coin. Eh, si usted me dice he is a calling me está diciendo él es una llamada ok, pero si decimos después del verbo be ponemos el verbo a has de una vez el verbo sin a ¿verdad? vamos a poner calling ahí sí dice él está llamando ¿verdad? ok vamos a ver acá, por ejemplo este what are you doing? It is a uh, no. The question: What are you doing? Ah, uh, I am. I am sending uh -huh. messages. I am sending sending sending. Yes, sending emails. Email. Emails. Very good. Now this one: What are you doing? I am. I am. Uh, Working in the computer. Okay, I am working in the computer. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, siempre se me va con otro color y no se ve. Okay, here it is. I am working in the computer. Very good. What about this one? What's I'm printing, printing the report. 
Very good. I am printing, printing the report. Okay. That I am printing the the report. Uh -huh. Es que, vaya, miren, el sonido de este nosotros decimos the, pero en realidad no hay que abrir así con a, sino que the, 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 the. Ok, no existe ese sonido en nuestro idioma. Por eso lo tenemos que crear en nuestra, eh, en nuestro registro de la boca. Ok, bien. ¿Se entiende acá cómo formamos el presente continuo? Quiere decir que es una actividad en progreso, ¿verdad? Esto es una actividad en progreso. Esta es una actividad eh, que está sucediendo al momento que estoy hablando. Es un uso. O es una actividad que va a suceder en un tiempo cercano y cierto, ya estipulado que sí va a ser. Es cierto que sí va a ser. ¿Ok? Entendemos, ¿verdad? Que para poder armar el presente continuo, We use verb be y al verbo le agregamos ing, ¿ok? I am teaching, I am working in the computer, I am printing the report, etc. So let's read. <laughs> let's read this grammar spot. This is the grammar spot. We use present continue to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than than now okay this word is arrangements Arrange. arrangements, arrangements. Mm -hmm. arrangements. we use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time oh. later than now okay at a time Later than now. For example, I'm having dinner after this class. Okay, I am having dinner after the class. Okay, then the structure, subject, verb be, the main verb and the ing. Okay, plus the complement. Let's look at the examples. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. When? Tomorrow. Okay. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. Okay. Y vemos sujeto, verbo be, el verbo principal en su forma base, más el ing. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Ah, entonces quiere decir que todo este es el verbo más ing. Entonces es un ing verb form. Y luego el complemento. Ok. Let's look at these um, questions and answers. What time is Maria interviewing the people? What time is... Maria interviewing the people. Uh -huh. She's interviewing ING them at five o'clock PM. All right. So it's not now, it's at five o'clock PM. So I have to say she's interviewing them. Okay, she's interviewing them. Now, I am writing the report next week. I am writing the report next week. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Okay? Now, vamos a ver. Letter A. Letter A. Eh, Alma, en letter B, Fernando. Ah, oh, we have two Fernandos. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me check who, who's Fernando here. Ah, Fernando Noel, there you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She interviewing them at? Five o'clock p.m. Okay, pronounce the letter S. She's. Mm -hmm. 
right? She's. Fernando? She's interviewing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's listen to Rosa and Stephanie. Okay, the same. Okay. Um, what time is Maria intervie interviewing the people? No, interviewing. Interviewing the people. Interviewing. Interviewing. Así, así, Stephanie. Yeah. Interviewing. Um, five o'clock p.m. Yes. Bye. En esta que dice Then NT. Five o'clock p.m. Correct, Stephanie. Entonces, las palabras que llevan NT, así como estas, como 20, ¿verdad? No decimos la T, sino que solo la N. Entonces sería interviewing. Interviewing. Y este también, interviewing. All right. Este es American pronunciation, American. Okay. Because British and top view one, right? It's different. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am writing the report next week. I am writing. 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 Mm -hmm. I am writing the report next week. Very good. And Stephanie? Nice. Um, I am saying it's a song as uh, you finish. Okay. Este lleva una N, pero no lleva una T. Este lleva una D. Entonces, como lleva una D, aquí sí suenan las dos. Sending. Sending. Aquí no porque es T. Letra T. ¿Ok? I am sending. I am. Ah, pero como lleva it, ¿verdad? I am sending it. Sending it as soon as you finish. Okay, Stephanie? Okay. Nice. I, um, I am sending it as soon as you finish. Very good. Very good. Now, um, Alma, please. And Gabriela. Igual, las dos. Okay. Uh, I let her A. Okay, yes. What time is Maria interviewing the people? Here, in, 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 Sending it as soon as you feel. Okay, as soon, as soon. Soon. Mm -hmm. It as soon as you feel. Yes, there you are. Thank you very much, girls. Then, how to differentiate? How to differentiate? The actions at the same time I'm speaking and the actions or arrangements for events at time uh, later than now. How do we differentiate this kind of sentences? Ah, because all the sentences or at least the most of them will take a time expression expressing the future okay future expressions future expressions okay let's read tomorrow the day after tomorrow okay esto es pasado mañana right the day after tomorrow next week next month next monday Next weekend. Ah, entonces cualquier tiempo, cualquier unidad de tiempo. Con next va a ser future expression. In an hour. En una hora. In an hour. Later this evening. Later this evening. Más tardecito. Eh. Sí, ahora ya en la tardecita. 
Okay, later this evening. Soon, soon, pronto. Okay, soon. Mm -hmm. So if we are talking about scheduled activities, I am, for example, in August, okay, in my agenda, or in my real time is August. And then my scheduled events are for maybe the next month, right? Maybe for the next week, maybe for next Monday. Okay, next Monday will be like this. The next weekend, okay? Or maybe in an hour, okay? Maybe in an hour. So, a ver. Las voy a dejar de mostrar y ustedes me dicen las future expressions. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next week. Next month. Next Monday. Next week. In our this evening. Even in All right, very good. Soon. I'm sorry? Soon. Soon. Soon, with letter N. Mm -hmm. Soon. Soon, thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Someone said something, I'm sorry, I couldn't get that. Okay, then, let's use the conversation and complete these... Um, Let's complete these sentences, okay? These two sentences are according to the conversation we practiced. Okay? Complete the following sentences. Use the conversation about to help you. Mm -hmm. Number one. She is present. She is present. Mm -hmm. present. What is missing? What is missing here? ING. Okay. She is presenting with a new employee. Okay. I N G. He is presenting, presenting with, the, with employee. the new employee. Yes. Number two. Um, I am. I am. I'm informing the community about that. I am. About that. The community about, about that. that. Okay, great. So let's go to the next page. And in the next page, we have these sentences. And we want to unscramble the following words to create sentences. Okay. Yo me voy a poner en mute. I will mute myself. And you are going to comment, okay? Please comment, everybody, what the um, sentences you can form with those words. Remember, subject plus the to be verb plus the verb ing plus the complement, okay? Got it? Sure. There you are. Is Mark is the letters the letters the next week. The next week. Letters the next week. The third. Uh, John Jen Jenny's Jenny's Jen is working for working tonight. No. Jenny's Jenny is working on the report tonight. So Jenny is working yeah. tonight on the reports. Tonight on the report. 
Llegó al punto de Rupert. Yes, teacher. Walter. 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 Walter is. The check today. 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 Check. She says. Walter is singing. Today. Check. Singing today. Walter is. Walter. Right. Check. Uh huh. The check today. Walter is Walter singing. Walter is Walter is signing. Is signing. Walter is signing. We check today. Check today. today check today. Today the checks. Today the checks. Teacher, is the finish the sentence in the point in the options? Is the finish, for example, in the 30? Is Jenny's working tonight on the report? No. Or is not? No important, the verb, the, the that at the finish. The time expression. The time expression usually goes at the end of the sentence. Okay, that's the best look uh, placement. That's the best placement grammatically. The time expressions go to the end of the sentence. These kind of time expression. Okay. In this option is. Porque veo el punto siempre al final, por ejemplo. Y, y ese, the full stop, por, yes, it's a rule. Pero, ok, pero, pero no, 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 me, creo que estoy consultándole mal. En las opciones desordenadas veo que al final de cada, al final de la opción hay un punto. Entonces ese no importa, porque si lo vemos así sería como ordenar con el, la que tiene al final el punto. Pero no, ese es el punto de las opciones. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that full stop is not. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, sorry. Marina, Marina is organizing, is organizing, 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 organizing. Marina is presentation in the afternoon. in the afternoon. Organizing. Marina is organizing. The presentation in the afternoon. Guillermo is Guillermo to the bank is, tomorrow. To the is, bank tomorrow. Guillermo is going to the is bank tomorrow. going to the bank tomorrow. <laughs> I will give you the a link, right? I will give you a link.
Sure. Okay, are you there yet? No. Yes, sure. <laughs> Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Uh, click on the link and go to the worksheet. I'm sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Click on the link. Okay. Mm -hmm. And go to the worksheet. Okay. You got it? Listo. All right, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, so scroll down and go to the um, the worksheet and let's start and comment the and comment the activity, okay? Okay, which is the form? Subject so plus to be plus the base format uh, plus ing, okay? Then it means that we are talking about future plans and arrangements, right? For example, I am playing volleyball with Jane tomorrow, okay? I am playing volleyball with Jane tomorrow. So look at the time expression, tomorrow, okay? Then, complete the dialogues using the present continuous and the information and the timetable. Okay, then we have Saturday at 10, at 1, or at, yeah, at 1 p.m., at 3 p.m., at 4 p.m., and at 8 p.m., right? So, Saturday and Sunday. And then we have a list of activities, like meet cutting at the airport, on Saturday at 10, right? Drive around town at, on Saturday at 1 p.m. Are we okay with this? Okay, then we have to complete with these activities in the present continuous form, each sentence or each idea we have given. Number one, mm -hmm, they are like talking, right? So, so, mm -hmm. Ahí sería el verbo to be uh -huh. is Did your cousin arriving arriving this Saturday. Uh -huh. Is your cousin arriving this Saturday? All right. Vamos bien ahí? That's sure. Okay, number That's two. Right. That's right with meeting in the airport at 10 o'clock. That's right. We meeting. We are. We are meeting. Yes. Verbo to be. Remember. The Same verb time. be. Hmm? That's right. We are meeting him at the airport at 10 o'clock. Then. <laughs> we are talking. We are take, talking. taking. Taking. We taking are. Around. Taking, uh-huh. Can see the sense. The sights. Taking a drive. Taking. Mm -hmm. Number three. Is he staying? Staying. At your plate. Staying. Mm -hmm. Number four. Yes. yes. I, uh, uh, I am using to my friend. So I, I am. I am. Um, I'm. Will. No, I introducing. I am introducing. Mm -hmm. No puede ir el ing en este caso sin el verbo to be. Tienen que ir juntos. Y eso es de acuerdo al sujeto, ¿sí? La conjugación. Vamos. What's next in number four? We are playing. 
we're, we're playing. playing volleyball together. All right, number five. What are that's, that's a good idea. What are what idea? And what you doing? Is doing. Is doing. Is what is again? Doing? And what are you doing? Is you doing? Doing. You doing. You doing. doing. Is in that the question? Evening. What are you doing in the evening? And what are you doing in the evening? Right? And what are you doing in the evening? Number six. We are having. Okay. Having. Having. Having, right? We are. Having. Having. Uh huh. Having. A dinner party with the. While family. With the whole family. With oh, the whole okay. family. Whole significa in la familia entera. Okay? Oh. The whole family. Mm -hmm. family. Así que cuando oh. vayan al super o si tienen leche entera en su casa, miren ahí. Whole milk. Leche entera. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that's, it's the same concept. All right. On Sunday morning, we are taking... Yeah. We are taking him to the him aquarium. To the aquarium. And then we are. And then we. Ha having having. Yeah, uh, having having lunch of the hard rock coffee. Has having all. Mhm. Mhm. We are having lunch at the Hard Rock Coffee. Cafe. Cafe. Ah, cafe. Mm -hmm. Rock Cafe. After that, he, he um, is coming. My mm -hmm. house to play video game. My house <laughs> with me to play. To play what? To play video games, right? To play video games. Number seven. That sounds good. good. What what is is he leaving? Mm -hmm. On Sunday night. No. He is not leaving. What is what is the right in the ocean? One and in the number seven hmm? Number seven. Draw some number seven. That sounds good. Is he leaving on Sunday night? Mm -hmm. No, he is not leaving until next week. In fact, we are having having. 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 Diner at the local pub and then we are going to the cinema in the evening. I can... Going. Juan Carlos, number nine. Samuel, number nine. I can't, I am studying with Fiona. We have a test on Monday. Um, what is you are visiting? The in Holland next year. A ver, ¿cómo sería el 9? Ayudémosle a Samuel todos. 
I can. I, I am studying with Fiona. We, we have a test on Monday. And uh -huh. are you visiting okay. them in Holland next year? Ok, para hacer la pregunta, Samuel, tenemos que pasar el verbo be al inicio. Ok, pasamos. En este caso, como estamos hablando de you, a usted le estamos preguntando, sería are you, ok, are you, um, y luego el verbo con ing. Are you visiting, are you visiting them in Holland next year? No, sería are you... You, mm -hmm. Are you visiting or Correct. are you are you or are you are? No, no, no. Esta es pregunta. Entonces ahí estaría repitiendo usted un verbo are. y sería incorrecto. Entonces tiene que pasar el verbo to be para el inicio. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, so the, are you visiting? Yes. Are you visiting them in Holland next year? Okay. Hmm? Number 10. What's number 10? Yes, it's all around. I, I am, am spending, spending next summer at their house in Amsterdam. Okay. Is there any question so far? Okay, then click on finish. Check your answers. And take a screenshot and please send it through the WhatsApp chat as evidence of your work. Okay then, let's try to play to play this game. This is to put in order the future arrangements. Okay, this is another activity. So let's take this. And this is with logical order, okay? Logical order. There you are. Thank you, Saul. Solo Saul me la ha mandado, chicos. Ah, me la mandaron en el otro chat, ¿no? Solo Saul me ha mandado el screenshot. There you are. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. Las que están en rosadito es que están malas. Hay que revisar si es que usted contractó y le puso una tecla, perdón, un apóstrofe mal, o si le faltó, se comió alguna letra, pero el concepto está bien, ¿verdad? Hay que verificar it eso. I'm it sorry. Case, it is in my case. I was running one letter. <laughs> ah, okay. You missed. You missed I, one letter. I intend that right now. Okay, then this is a game. No problem, Miss uh, uh, I'm sorry, no problem, Saul. This is a game, and this is another game. Okay, this is another game. So please, everybody, go to the the site. Okay, go to the site, and we are going to drop all the activities matching matching with the plan. Okay, matching with the plan, then. We have everything organized for the action happens, okay? So match the arrangements and how they were organized. I'm flying to Spain for a holiday soon. I'm flying to Spain for a holiday soon. ¿Cuál de estas, eh, de estos arreglos que están arriba, de estos anaranjados? 
hace el match, combina ahí y completa la idea. I I go to the plan ticket here. Mm -hmm. For me is that I okay. go to the plan ticket. Okay. And you click on the activity and click on uh, the uh, on the box to move it. O sea, hace un clic en el anaranjado y un clic en el blanco que usted quiere que se vaya ese anaranjado. ¿Ok? Ok, sure. Ok, the next one. He's staying at his friend's house tonight. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people with about the ones. We have his parents said it's okay. What do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. I don't guess it. <laughs> I think they say yes. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. She going to the dentist next week. She's got an appointment. We are ready. She's got an appointment. Appointment. Yes. Appointment. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Teacher, I don't remember that. How do you say an appointment in Spanish? Eh, cita. La cita. Mm -hmm. And the next is I am meeting my friend after school. We we have uh, we agreed to meet at the park. They invite lots of people with brought the interns. This with with about the interns ingredient. No, this is no ingredients. This ingredients. Ingredients. <laughs> ingredients. No, no, it's no. And I'm meeting my friend after school. They invite lots of people who we have invite. To invite. Uh -huh. They ah, but in this case, they are invited. No, quiero they ver, invited. Quiero... They've they invited. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. No. In this case, I meet my friend after school. Si nosotros sería o ellos invitaron a más personas. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> But the next is they're having a barbecue of the weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, the event. Uh, we agree to meet at the park. Mm -hmm. You got it? Vale, veamos y comparemos. A ver, ¿quién ya lo terminó? Let's compare. ¿En qué nos tenemos que fijar aquí? A ver. En el sujeto y el verbo. Exactly. Ajá, uh -huh, the subject. <laughs> And the verb and the action, right? Okay, yeah. then number one, number one. I'm flying to Spain for a holiday. Some if go to the plan tickets. 
plane, plane tickets. Plane tickets. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have we are watching the new super tonight. We have tickets for eighty thirty three. They invited last. They're having a barbecue on the weekend with with about the ingredients is they are having a barbecue of the weekend mm -hmm. oh, my mom is helping me make a cake it's the cake tomorrow aha uh -huh. if you have planned to uh pl have a plan to make a cake then what do you need it's you need with, with both the ingredients. Uh huh. With but uh, the ingredients. Ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Bye. think I finished your teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. For example, the next thing we're watching the new Superman file tonight is we mm -hmm. have ticket for a, is eighteen thirty. Thirteen o'clock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bye. Estos future events o todos los future events tienen alguna particularidad. Por ejemplo, en este caso estamos viendo cuando ese evento futuro usted ya lo tiene planeado y están dadas todas las posibilidades o todos los arreglos necesarios para que se realice esa actividad. Quiere decir entonces, como les decía yo al principio de que empezamos a ver el presente continuo, que este es para certain future. Es un futuro que es cierto. ¿Es cierto por qué? Porque ya todo está listo, ya todo está preparado. Por ejemplo, I'm taking a shower tomorrow. Okay, I'm taking a shower tomorrow. Do I have that prepared? Yes, I have a shower. I have everything to do it, right? I have soap. I have the water, I have my bathroom, and they did, that's my, that's my habit, right? That's my habit, so all the possibilities are given for you to take a shower, for I to take a shower, right? So I am having a, sh a shower tomorrow, early in the morning, because I have to work later, okay? So for sure you are going to do that. Entonces, tenemos que fijarnos en este jueguito, ¿Qué evento nos dice el, el arreglo que ya está hecho? Entonces, vamos a ver. I'm flying to Spain for a holiday soon. Y decía Saúl, I've got the plane tickets. Perfect. Uh, number two. A ver, ¿quién la lee? ¿Quién ya la tiene? He is or his. He is staying at his friend's house tonight. Exactly. ¿Y qué la completa la idea? Hmm. A ver, si él se va a quedar en la casa de sus amigos ahora en la noche, ya le dieron It's permiso. Fine. It's okay. Ajá, It's okay. exacto. It's okay. That's good. His parents said it's okay. Uh, number three, she's going to the dentist next week. She's got an appointment. That's good. Uh huh. Next one, I'm meeting my friend after school. We agreed to meet, we at, agreed the to meet at the park. Very good. They're having a barbecue uh, the weekend. Esta es British okay. English and American English area on the weekend. Okay. They invite lots of people. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Next. We're watching the new Superman film tonight. We have tickets for 19. Okay, 30 minutes past six. Past six. Okay, there you are. Uh -huh. my, mo my mom is helping me make a cake tomorrow. We have both the ingredients. 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 Mm -hmm. Next. Our class 
is visiting a mu museum next museum. week. Museum. Museum. Museum mm -hmm. next week. Our yes. teacher has booked a bus. That's correct. Okay, all the arrangements are done. So the thing is going to happen. Okay, that's a certain future. All right, are we okay so far? Okay. All right. Costo. <laughs> no, but this is nice because we are like... um. Expanding the different, different words is the confusion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they are different tenses. Hasta el yes, momento sure. solo hemos aprendido el presente simple, the simple present, and now we are learning the present continuous. Okay, and we are seeing that this is for future events. Uh -huh. Y me, me alegra mucho que la asociación, la estrategia que han usado ha sido maravillosa. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, guys. Um, let me just get... Is the technical teacher, for example, with me, I either read a different document in English. Ah, social. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's read these, um, a, let's say, uh, sentences, okay? Sentences. They are transformed and in the different ways to express this. Affirmative, negative, and questions. Let's look at the structures by giving the context, okay? So if we see this context, it's, they are already made. So let's read the first question. Okay, the first question. Are Jonathan and I driving to USA next Saturday? Are Jonathan and I driving to USA next Saturday? Ah, entonces quiere decir que las preguntas pasamos del verbo be al principio y ponemos el sujeto y ponemos el ing verb form. Okay, el ING. See, are Jonathan and I driving to USA next Saturday? Okay, veámoslo en forma afirmativa. Affirmative sentence will be Jonathan and I are driving to USA next Saturday. Okay, Jonathan and I are driving to USA next Saturday. Let's look at this one. It says Jonathan and I aren't driving to USA next week. Quiere decir que vamos a usar la misma forma negativa de el verbo be, ¿ok? Vamos a usar si queremos contractado de las maneras que son contractadas, aren't and um uh, sería el otro are not. Ajá, pero contractándolo al al sujeto, ¿verdad? En este caso no lo podemos contratar, contractar con el sujeto porque pues, el sujeto aquí es I. Entonces, no. Entraría, por ejemplo, si fuera we're. We're, okay? we're not. Okay? When we give the emphasis in the negation. Okay? Jonathan and I are driving to USA next Saturday. Okay, let's read this one. Everybody, please. Are they, are they working, working tomorrow? tomorrow? Are they working tomorrow? Are they working they... tomorrow? That's the best pronunciation. Yes, Samuel, that's correct. Raising intonation because it's a direct question. Are they working tomorrow? Okay, are they working tomorrow? Now, this is affirmative. They are working tomorrow. They are working tomorrow. They are working tomorrow. They are working tomorrow. That's correct. And this one? They are not working tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Are you coming Are to the party at 7 p.m.? Yeah. 7 p.m. Affirmative. Coming the, I am I'm coming I'm to the coming party to at 7 p.m. I am not coming to the party at 7 o'clock p.m. Are they, are they having a meeting next Monday? They are having a meeting next Monday. Monday. They aren't having a meeting next Monday. 
Handmade uh, made in this Monday. It's, is Guillermo going to the bank tomorrow? Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Guillermo isn't going to the bank tomorrow. Exactly. Going to the bank tomorrow. Teacher, I have a question. I don't remember that you say with the use, for example, the time in 7 o'clock p.m. or I, I say 7 p.m. What is correctly? Yeah. You can say both and it's up to you. You decide, seven o'clock p.m. And then you can say also 7 p.m. and it is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. It Thanks, doesn't teacher. affect the meaning unless like you say seven o'clock, you, you are emphasizing, right? Uh, but that's the correct way to say it. So if you say it like seven o'clock, then you are emphasizing. But if you say seven o'clock, it's okay. 7 p.m., that's correct. All, All right. right, teacher. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, so in this case, we need the ING verb form, right? The ING verb form. So to make the ING, okay, one second. The thing is that we need to um, transform, right, a verb with an ING. Okay, so we need to follow these rules to make ING performs. Most of the verbs, you just add ING. For example, sleep, in. You don't make any change. Okay, no le hace ningún cambio, ¿sí? Vamos a ver en la... Oh, this one, way, terminaba en una E, ¿sí? Mire, way, termina en una E. I drop the letter E, mm -hmm, and I add ING. Drop letter E and add ING. Wake up, waking up, all right? Letter E, drop letter E, add ING. Write, writing. Drive, driving. Take, taking. Study. Study. Mm -hmm. Studying. Mm -hmm. Studying. You keep the letter Y in this case. Okay? Studying. studying. Uh -huh. Pero no decimos studying, sino que decimos studying. Studying. Mm -hmm. De ahí tenemos wash. Vemos wash. que termina en, uh -huh. eh, ahí no hacemos ningún cambio. Wash, washing. Watch, wash, 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 watching. Wash. Play. What? Play. Mm -hmm. Play. Playing, work, playing, work, 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 working, working, working. Eat. 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 Eating. 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 Mm -hmm. eating, speak, speak. speaking, speaking. speaking. Speak. Allow me to see if I have a different list over here, just in order to show you. Speak, speaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, for example, if I have a verb uh, from, it's a one-syllable verb, okay? A one-syllable verb. We don't have that in the list. For example, the verb get. Mm -hmm. get. The verb, exactly, uh-huh. Uh, let's say, put. Mm -hmm. This is one, these are one-syllable verbs. We have consonant, vowel, consonant. consonant. We have to double the last consonant, okay? T, T, I, N, G, okay? The same here. Put, putting, okay? Or putting. There you are. So we have to double the last consonant and add I, N, G. One syllable verb, consonant, vowel, consonant. What about Teacher, this one? For example, room t-shirt. Uh, mm -hmm. Run running. Uh, for example, and the verb by okay, igual que play. Yes, uh-huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. The exception is with the verbs that end with the letter Y. Because it's a consonant, I'm sorry, it's not a consonant sound. 
it's a syllable sound. So we cannot just, uh, we cannot double this, right? No, we say playing. All right, run, we double, N-I-N-G. All right, eat, we don't. Why? Because we don't have consonant here. We have a vowel, right? So, vowel, vowel, mm -mm. if it were. Um, consonant, vowel, consonant, sound. Okay, yes, but no, we cannot in this case, right? Anything, buying. Because this Cooking. is buying. Mm -hmm. Cooks, that doesn't Cooking. suffer any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cut, cortar. Ah, that's cut. Cut. Ah, cut. Uh -huh. Cutting. Uh -huh. sure. Tell me. I, I remember that the, the rule in exception, for example, the two bird in expression don't use gerundio. Is, for example, the like and love. Is, is oh, but those are stated verbs. Y eso lo vamos a ver quizás ya, ya en intermedio, okay? Stated uh, verbs. So mm -hmm. I remember that in, in you explain the use the rules, the E and G. Uh, okay, okay. Ajá, pero esos son verbos que no, no se pueden hacer, pero por el concepto. No mm -hmm. es que no se pueda, porque si tiene otro concepto dentro de la oración, sí lo puede hacer. Por ejemplo, el verbo have es un stated verb. Pero nos sirve para decir almorzar, por ejemplo. Entonces, como ya es almorzar, entonces sí le podemos poner a Angie. ¿Sí? Hay, hay otros, ¿verdad? Como McDonald's dice, loving it, I'm loving it. Mm. It's not possible, but they do. ¿Ok? So, <laughs> eso you. lo van a aprender en el eh, intermedio. Ok, people, everybody, time is up. So, please turn the camera on. And say present when I call your name. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Oh, I know he is with an emergency right now. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay. Débora y Amilet Campos Cortés. Present, teacher. Okay. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present, teacher. Okay, there you are now. Great. Gabriela Lisette Hernandez Cruz. Oh, Thank you, Gabriela. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. Oh, okay. You pensé que ya se nos había dormido, Fernando. Helen Saray oh. Hernandez Larín. Miss Helen. José Adonai Mendoza Aguillón. Oh, Mr. Aguillon. Uh, Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Good night. Okay, have a very good night, you too. Saul Alvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Veronica Beatriz Elso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, Mr. Juan Carlos, are you there? Well, we don't know if he's right there. Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me, Marta Alicia. No sé si yo escucho mi present. Uh, see. Yes, yes, I did. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver entonces. Le toca ahorita a... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Bueno, le tocaría a Ronaldo en este caso, ¿verdad? Porque ya pasó Marta Alicia. No, pero ahora es la número... Es que ya nos desordenamos, ya no caigo donde vamos. A ver, ya quedó mal Marta Alicia, ya quedó María Isabel. Ah, pues sí, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, a usted le tocaría. ¿Se quiere quedar, Ronaldo? 
no me vaya a dejar con la poliada hoy. <ríe> don Ronaldo ya se nos fue. Ya se nos fue, don Ronaldo. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. ¿Quién quisiera quedarse? No, no, y se trabó el Zoom. <ríe> es que todos así al mismo tiempo dijeron yo. <ríe> I can't teach I'm sorry. I can't teach her. Okay, so, Ahora, eh, pero lo dijo primero Alma, ¿verdad? ¿Quién, quién es testigo acá? A ver, no. son testigos. I'm sorry, Saúl, pero no. Alma di... no. no. Solo <risa> le dije que ahora, había... <risa> que ahora había pastel. Ah, ok. Oh. It's true. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody, to you. Happy birthday, Carlos Ernesto. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Is this that? <laughs> yes, he is right there, but he's in a call, maybe. He's having a call. Hello, Carlos. Yeah, he opened the microphone, but he cannot. No, muchas gracias. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, a piece of cake for everybody. There we are. Nice. So, see you tomorrow, Get guys. To ah, Saul, Saul, you want to stay, right? Okay, then. I stay with Thank Saul. You. There you are. Okay, bye bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Do and submit your homework. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Fernando. Okay, here we here we go, Saul. How can I assist you tonight? Okay, teacher, thanks. But is is especially, but I want to uh, cl clarify my the, the books and see if I understand it. For example, you remember. I, I don't I don't say it is remember that the ing the usual ing will the verb to the verb be what is the in the question I, I don't I don't remember that it is the change the, the verb is correctly is yes is, for example mm -hmm. okay and the different verb is ing is indifferent for example is affirmative is question or negative the verb is but the verb, how do you say mass in English, teacher? Plus. The verb plus, plus the verb plus, mm -hmm. gerundio. Gerund. The Gerund. Is correctly? Mm -hmm. Siempre, siempre, always. Always. The present continuous is formed by the B verb and the ing verb form. Okay, if it is affirmative, you use the affirmative B. If the um, action or the plan is negative then you would say uh the negative form of the be verb for example isn't aren't or i'm not and if you are asking a question then you um what's the word to say this change the position right change. Mm -hmm. yeah change the placement of the verb be you separate them and put right in the middle the subject Okay. Okay, teacher. I understand. In the present continuum, is indifferent. For example, is affirmative or negative. In the question, the verb ma plus a plus herundium. Gerund. Gerund. Exactly. Gerund. Always. In the in the question, is the change the verb be. For example, the mm -hmm. verb be and subject. For example, mm -hmm. are you? Or is he or is she or are we or are they? Is correct? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, that is correct. Remember with the questions we read today. Remember with the questions we read. Remember? Sorry, teacher. Remember? We, uh -huh, the questions we read. Oh, Look. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. sure. You can compare. For example, the question structure is that you place the B at the beginning. And then you place the subject, subject. plus the ing verb form, okay? And then the complement, anything you want to say, okay? And okay. the affirmative, it is the subject plus the B plus the ing or the gerund, okay? And then the complement. And the negative, we use the B in negative, 
look. And it's the same structure as the affirmative, except that we add not, right? Jonathan and I aren't driving. Uh, the B negative plus the ing. Mm -hmm. Always, always. If it is not this way, it is not present continuous. Okay? okay it's teacher. another thing, but not the present continuous. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Um, but I, I know it's a letter, but what the, <laughs> but is, what the different they use the present continue with the use, for example, the, the activity as future, whereas they use the will be. Ah, that's interesting. Uh-huh. Well, we have on another ways to say the future. Okay, this future with the ing, all the arrangements are done. Okay, all the arrangements are done. But I will I will present an example. For example, will you marry me? Will you marry me? But if you accept, okay, if you say yes, I do, right? So I, I'm sorry. Yes, I will. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. We start the arrangements to do it. Okay. First, you are looking for an ex, uh, for the um, a, let's say uh, um, the agreement, right? You are looking for the agreement that uh, the other person is willing to do something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this example, but this is the best example to see that when we use will. Someday, let's plan, let's plan the date. Let's plan the events we are going to do in our wedding, okay? And then when you said, yes, I will, then we say, well, we are going to have a big wedding, okay? Why? Because we rented the, let's say, the salon, right? We rented the um, party party's room. We rented the complete hotel. So now we know that we are having a big party. Okay. Okay. okay That's okay. the thing. Okay. We will do it. It's not certain, and there are no plans. There are no plans involved. With the B, I mean, with the present continuous. It is going to happen, right? That's for sure, because all the arrangements are done. I am going to get married. Then you know the date, you know the place, you know what you are doing, what uh, maybe you bought your dress already. You know where you are going for the honeymoon, all right? But if I say I will marry, okay, yes, you will marry, but mm, when? I am going to marry on December, okay? okay. Different, different. Yes, mm -hmm. I understand, and is what is the difference, the present? Uh... Mm -hmm. And there are other futures. Mm -hmm. There are other futures. <laughs> also, the imaginary too, the yes, sure. imaginary futures. I, for example, I seen will be the marriage. Mm. Oh, oh, the other imaginary is with wood. It's another model verb. It's another model verb. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe in the, let's say, when are you going to see wood? Actually, you're going to see wood in a different usage on the third and on the fourth module of the beginners. But you are going to see wood as the conditional, okay? Then over there, an intermediate and advanced, okay? With the okay. conditionals. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher. I will I send. I will send a video. Okay, or a link for a video. Uh, but this is a British teacher. Actually, I love this teacher because I really like him. <laughs> He's very handsome <laughs> for me. Okay. For me. Okay, okay that's my taste. But um, he explains so easily the different future mm. structure. Okay. So I will send it that to you, all right? Okay, thanks, teacher. Thanks, you share me. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'll send that to you. Okay, teacher, thanks. It is the, the question. In... All right, no problem. Then have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher, see you tomorrow. All right.